Hello everyone, I'm your lovely host Becca Chu, and welcome back to Everlasting Summer, and I'm having to say this, um, I'm actually getting really hyped up into this game right now, like, I'm actually getting to the point, like, whenever you, most people, which anyone can tell you this, either that I'm different from most people or other people might agree with me differently, but beginning to me of most visual novels kind of start off kind of slow, you know, and then, like, there's that one point in the middle or like you start getting really into it you get really into the story it starts getting more exciting and I don't know I just feel like I'm starting to get to that point I just hope the part I'm getting at isn't a horror part because <laughs> um I don't deal well with horror games I don't think it is it's just it might be something silly and cute too for all I know but anywho I just know some visual novels can turn out dark like the sweetest, most charming visual novels are actually the most darkest ones ever. And most people that are anime or video game fans or do visual novels can tell you that for sure. But anywho, let's continue on with the story. Lena smiled and gave me a flashlight which appeared from nowhere. Yes, that'll be useful. Does this mean she's prepared beforehand and nothing was up to me? I sighed as of doom and headed to the forest with her. Night fell on the camp. We walked slowly. Lena was next to me, near but not too close. Strange, but it looked like she wasn't afraid of anything. Moreover, she didn't seem to be bothered much about what we were doing, as if we weren't talking through in the forest at night, but just watching a movie with other people playing le leading roles. Actually, Electronic said that the old camp was not too far, and if we walked straight to it, then it would be hard to get lost. After a few minutes, I was completely unsure that we were walking straight. After a few more, it started to seem that it would be a miracle for us to even get out of here. But I didn't want to lose face before Lena, so I tried to walk cheerfully. The forest was full of silent, flickering shadows and gleaming moonbeams. The grass quietly rustled under our feet and the branches rustled over our heads. Old Oak stood next to the young birches. Large mushrooms emerged from the under the ladder as if aching off their large hats and salute on any other day or rather any other time of the day it would have looked really beautiful maybe safe at night but nevertheless i shuddered at each gust of wind look lena point waits forward i rubbed my eyes and saw a gap between the trees dude i'm out no, i'm about to no i'm kidding i'm not gonna leave the recording I'm just two minutes in that looks creepy I even hear creaking. At least I hear frogs. That makes things better. But, um, in a minute we were in a rather large clearing in the middle of it stood a building which looked like a village school or a kindergartner. See, now I hear creepy birds. Is this Silent Hill? I don't want to deal with psychological horror. I don't want to deal with something messing with my mind. The paint was falling off the walls. There were several holes in the roof like the aftermath of a bombing and the glasses windows looked at us sadly and a little threateningly. I heard a creak. It's not a very pleasant sight. I can't remember how I managed imagine this place a moment ago. It was like all the images had been erased from my memory replaced by this depressing graveyard view. Well, it's creepy. Lena was still standing silently, but a natural expression of fright appeared on her face. Do you think he's in there? I hope not. Like, really, I hope not. I have no idea. If I was sure, then a haunted house would be the last place I'd hide in. Shall we go? I didn't manage to answer. The moon appeared from behind the clouds and illuminated the clearing with new colors. Actually, in one color, the white of the grave. I could see more clearly the distant trees, the mist shrouding them. It felt like the temperature dropped several degrees, making me shiver. Are you afraid? Lena asked calmly. Heck yeah, I am afraid. Honestly? She smiled almost imperceptibly and took my hand. Would have caused a storm of emotions in any other situation, but at that time it felt like a basic necessity. We slowly walked to the building. Really? That didn't make me feel better. 
walking through the playground and pushed a merry-go-round, causing it to creak nastily as it made half a turn. Lena shivered and grasped my hand tighter. Sorry, I probably just remembered my childhood. Did you like merry-go-rounds? Yes, actually, I don't. I don't remember. Probably all children like them. I like them. Um, when I was a kid, we did the Bob the Builder theme song, and we like, can we do it? Yes, we can. We spin really fast. It was fun. But they got rid of it eventually because I think a lot of kids got injured at the recess thing, and it went to the park in my town. I didn't like them. Why? Got dizzy when I rode them. That's the point. It was fun. I always could see how people could get injured on those things, though. No wonder if you spin too fast. I liked swings more. Those were fun, too. I used to jump out of them, though. That's probably wasn't safe, but anywho. Well, you can get dizzy on swings as well. <laughs> but why would you? Because it's fun, especially when you're a kid. And when you're a kid, you don't get dizzy as easy. That conversation had me, distracted me a little, and I stopped worrying myself about everything about Shrek, about our night trip, about Lena. After all, this world is not so alien. Wait, is this alien isolation now? I'm definitely leaving. I don't want to see a face hugger in this game. Nope, nope, I'm good. Finally, we reached the doors. Oh. The inside of the old camp building reminded me of kindergarten, the one I attended in my childhood. Is it, like... I hope your kindergarten did not look like this. Because, dude, that is a horrible setting for a kindergarten. Either that, you're saying, like, how it maybe used to look like it would look like it, then okay. But right now, no. First glance, even the room arrangement was the same. Shriek! I feel like they're actually shrieking right now. Shriek or shriek! We have, like, silence reply to us. Even the wind outside had calmed down. Looks like nobody's here. We should check anyway. Really? You know, in most horror movies, this is like what normally like ends up killing the person is like, let's go check it out. No, nah, let's turn around, can we please? Lena's courage didn't cease to surprise me. Or should I say her lack of normal self -pre preservation instincts didn't I didn't know if this behavior is strange for this girl or not. Okay, let's do it. We thoroughly examined all the rooms of the old camp. I even expect inspected the attic. There were signs that people had visited this place everywhere in newspapers, empty bottles, and other garbage, but there was no sight of shark. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think a lot of, like, homeless people sometimes do that, actually. They'll, like, chill in an area that's been abandoned and then live there. So maybe it's really not that haunted? Unless they disappear, too, then that's suspicious. We returned to the hall where we had started our search. What should we do next? I have no idea. Lana sat on the steps and stared at her feet. I think we should go back. We began carefully. It's late, and can just the two of us really search the entire forest for him? You may be right. She looked sad, and her expression let me know that the search was not over yet. Well, I am. I waved my hands in resignation and sat next to her. We should think about the worst outcome. Are you saying? No, but are there any wild animals around? I doubt it. Lena calmed down at once. Maybe sleeping somewhere. He'll wake up in the morning or return to the camp. Yes, of course. Jumped to my feet and started to walk in circles around the hall. Really wanted to leave this place to get out from the forest, but it was as if Lena's behavior was keeping me here. I wanted to go on trying to persuade her, but then I noticed something on the floor. It was a trap door. There were little heaps of garbage and dust around it. it must have been opened recently. Look. Do you think Shirk's in there? Lena squatted and carefully pulled on the hatch handle. May not be Shirk, but someone surely used it recently. I already regretted finding that damn gate to hell. <laughs> I think there's actually a movie that does have something like that. And something else. Let's check it out. Jesus Christ, that actually gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just playing a visual novel too. Oh my god. The trap door wasn't very heavy, so you could open it without much effort. I directed the flashlight into it and saw a ladder going down a couple of meters. Looks like a cellar. Let's go down. Let's not. I looked at Lena for a few months, trying to understand what was on her mind. 
Does she have a craving for adventure like Eliana? I mean, I do like adventure, but... Uh, oh, I don't like creepy haunted places. I'd rather climb a cliff or explore a forest. That's more fun to me. So where is her youthful spirit then? Or maybe she just went a bit nuts. Lena didn't seem like a crazy person, but anyway, who even said she really is human? You can't evaluate her with human behavioral logic. That thought should have scared me, but somehow I didn't pay it, it any attention among the millions of other thoughts. Some of them were more important. For example, what could be down there? I climbed down and looked around. Everything is okay. After I made sure there was nothing to be afraid of, I called Lena. Now this is making me think of zombies. Resident Evil. <laughs> All the bad stuff is at the bottom. We shouldn't go any further deeper. We should just stay up at the top. Have you not watched Supernatural? This is the exact situation that most people get in and their heads are off. Not fun, man. We sit in the long corridor, which certainly wasn't a cellar. In architecture, more resemble um, KGB dungeons or a subway maintenance tunnel. I don't know which would be better. There were countless wires along the wall, fastened by metal hooks. Every half meter, there were lamps under the ceiling covered by rusted shades. Crumble concrete crunched under our feet unpleasantly. Shall we go? Lena, without any emotion, where to there? Oh, my god, I hear that music. That's not helping either. Jesus. Well, yes, what if Shirk is there? What'd he be doing there? Did I read that right? What'd he be doing there? Bleh. In any case, I wasn't really able to refuse her today, so we forgot about our fear and headed into the darkness. Yay! Darkness! At least I'm protecting her. Music's still not helping. That is creepy. Lena walked next to me, holding my hand. The silence of the dungeon was interrupted only by the sound of our steps and water dripping from the ceiling. We moved forward slowly, maybe too slowly. I suddenly felt a surge of claustrophobia. Yeah, I don't really like enclosed spaces that much either. Like, I definitely, like, for, I'm never doing tanning beds. Those, those things make me nervous and stuff. And, like, he's in a dark area in a cave. I'd be a little nervous, too. Greeted my teeth and squeezed the torch, but loosened him. I grip at once, fearful, breaking our only source of light. Lena kept silent, and her silence seemed louder than any words I started to fear. Say something. Door. What? There's a door. She pointed forward. Um, is this Fallout now? Uh, is this really zombies? Because I'm not opening it. I don't think Russia- I haven't been known to see that Russia is, like, known for experiments. I know Germany is, but, oh. No, I don't want to open it. We came to a massive metal door with a biohazard sign. Looks like a bomb shelter. True, that's a fallout shelter, but uh, blah blah blah. Yes, I heard something about it. Why is it here? I have no idea. Maybe because of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh yeah, that was actually a thing. Cuban estimated the approximate time of constructing the camp makes sense. However, building a bomb shelter here was like building an airport at Faggot in North Umberland or Lackwalk in Whistleshire in the UK. It wasn't deep enough and far too far from civilization. The door wheel duly creaked. I had to push it with all my strength before it turned a couple of times. Why'd you guys open the door? <laughs> Made up my mind and opened the door with difficulty. We entered the room which seemed to be the main living quarters. There were some beds, cases, some scientific equipment they had been thoroughly prepared for a nuclear apocalypse. We didn't find any signs of shirk there though. Look. Lena was holding a flare gun and smiling. Why would I need it? To fight monsters. Dude, I hope not. There are no monsters here. At least I wanted to believe that. If you say so, can I take it? I guarantee it. Didn't want to upset her, so I tucked the flare gun into my belt. It might come in handy. We thoroughly searched the room once again. There were two exits. The first was the door we had entered, and the other one was another door ex 
exactly the same in the left wall. For a moment, I felt excitement, the urge to reach the end of this labyrinth and to learn what prize awaited me there. However, this surely wasn't a computer game. And there is no option to save. Ha 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 
be headed into the darkness. It was hard to walk because I don't, I can choose where I trod, wobbly wooden pranks, or uneven ground. Wasn't able to stick closer to the walls either. The narrow list of the tunnel forced us to stay between the rails, and I didn't want to let go of Lana's hut. And play. Finally, we reached a fork. Just great. Where should we go? Where? I'm not certain. They'll be able to get out of here at all, especially if we're going to play Pac-Man. Play what? Never mind, we'll get lost. You don't know what Pac-Man is? Uh, well, if this was... No? Was Pac-Man around in the 80s? I don't remember when Pac-Man came around, but... Jesus. You've been living in a hole. <laughs> you must need to know what video games are. I'm just kidding. What if there is an exit to? There may be one, and what if there isn't? So should we go back? I bit my lip. It bled and yelled as loud as I could. Shrek! A loud echo rebounded from direction at once. Soil even fell from the ceiling in some places. See? Then I will go on alone. What? I grinned stupidly. Alone? Where to? We must find Shriek. He may be. Lena blushed at once and stared at the ground. No, no, no. That won't do. If we go, we go together. Okay, then let's go. She smiled and took my hand. How does she manage that? But first we should. I took a sharp stone from the ground, scratched across one of the beams which supported the walls. Now we will know where we started. Really? I gotta do this? I don't wanna do this. No. <laughs> is one like death area and then one is not? Cause I don't wanna die. <laughs> but then again. I'm so naive because like in most um in most video games, um if you um you don't or most visual novels how you get game over is just you make the wrong choice. And I'm like, I don't wanna do that. It's not fun. <laughs> go left or go right? I don't know, which area looks less creepy? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll go left. Go left. Seems that there's another fork in the road. Really? Uh. This isn't making me feel better. This isn't making me nervous. Uh. Go right. Is this Legend of Zelda? Seems that there's another fork in the road. That one's telling me to go left, right? Because there's an arrow right there. There better not be a jump scare. I will fucking. I will die. Just no. No. Oh, wait, that's the same. They look the same! I'm gonna go left again. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. Someone help me. <laughs> I'm got it. No, no, no. Go right? Jesus. Is there an end to this? To this level? I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I've clicked so many forks. Bra. Oh my god. Go left again? Is there an exit? Um. Uh, I'll go right this time. Dude, where's the exit? I have gone through like 10 of these now, I think. We came to some kind of miner's camp. Picks and helmets everywhere. A rusty wagon stood in the corner. All the items were so old they dated from the beginning of the 20th century rather than the middle. I can't read that at all. My Russian's not good. But I sensed that the exit was somewhere nearby and so we went further. Seems that there's another fork in the road. Really? Really? Mmm. Fine, I'll go. I'll save. And, like, save in a different spot. Actually, I could've saved over her, but oh well, it's not a big deal. 
Go left, go right. Uh, I think I went left last time, so let's go right this time. We returned to the place we had begun. So we took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's keep on searching. So if... I have to load my game. If I was to go left, would that be the right way? Are you sure? Blah, blah, blah. Go left. Um. Go left. Go right. Jesus Christ. Go right. Go left. That's creepy. Around the next turn, a wooden door appeared in the light. Jesus, Lena, don't jump out in front of me. That scared me a little. At least it's something. What? At least it's not another fork. What's in there? We don't have any choice but to check it out. We do too. Sean, we pulled the handle and opened the door. There was a room behind it, which might be one of the maintenance rooms for the bomb shelter. Empty bottles and cigarette butts were scattered any everywhere. The walls were all covered with scribbles. So that means there is another exit from here. I didn't want to believe that people who had left all that had come the way as we did. Sadly, Shark wasn't here. I don't think he would explore this floor, would he? Oh, I slid down the wall to the floor. We must have been everywhere now not everywhere lena pointed to a door in the corner looks similar to the one leading into the bomb shelter there probably should be an exit as you said shall we go let's rest for a moment okay lena sat next to me very close and took my hand it's all right what do you mean that we haven't found shirk we should think about getting ourselves we'll get out yes i probably remember the way or at least I thought that I remembered it. I don't. I just remember clicking left, 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 right, 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 and stuff. Not afraid at all. She suddenly said after a short pause, that's good. Because I'm with you. Oh, That's cute. Oh no, is this gonna end my happiness? I hear footsteps. I wanna die jumped up at once and started looking for something I could use as a weapon. The noise of heavy footsteps was getting closer. Oh, wow, okay. Hello, finally found you, you jerk. Why are you in here? Like, seriously, why are you in here? Why would you explore this far, you little idiot? Finally, the door opened. And why are you angry? And Shirk appeared from behind it. In silence, I froze staring at him. There you are. Did you think you could hide from me? What? Did you think I wouldn't find you? But I did. He wasn't saying that was for sure. His face was distorted by a scary grimace. His eyes gleamed behind his glasses. The missing pioneer held a metal rod in his hand. Are you mad? It's us. Yeah, I can see it's you. He took a couple of steps towards us. I instinctively shielded Lena. Did you think you could make a fool of me? Leading me here and there to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. And I followed, I followed. He raised the metal. Dude, don't attack us. Jesus, we're trying to save you. Uh, everything after that was like it happened in slow motion. Shriek charging at us. Me pushing Lena out of the way. The rod slowly arching, arching towards my head. My hand with the flashlight going up. Following all of that complete darkness, rapid breathing, blood hammering my temple. Silence, dreadful, heavy silence merging with the darkness. Move my... And trying to find the wall when I felt someone such. You know, for someone like we were trying to look for all day and we were worried about you, you can say thank you that we found you if you were lost. Little jerk. Don't be afraid. Heard a familiar voice near me. Where are you, you damned lunatic? I shouted. He left. Which way did he go? Where to? Lena's voice didn't sound too calm, but certainly didn't sound like it should in such circumstances. And you were so worried about him, too, and he look what he did to us. He's mean. Calm down. No, I don't want to be calm. She hugged me tenderly and pressed her body against mine. I tried to gather my senses to recover my breath to adapt to the darkness. What should we do next? You have a gun. Well, who do I shoot? It's loaded with the flare. 
She might be right. Took the gun from my belt, pointed it to the side, and fired. The room was illuminated by a bright red light. The flare lying in the corner looked like a firework or a sparkler. Let's go quickly, it won't burn for too long. Where to? Lena pointed to the second door, it wasn't hard to open it, and we headed into the darkness. The flare burned more dimly with every second. I stumbled with every step, even fell down a couple of times, but didn't slow my pace. If it goes out... Finally, we saw a light in front of us and came to a ladder leading to a grating in the ceiling. The flare hissed and went out. Thank God. Turned out that we were right under the statue of Gendo. The grating was rather sturdy, but we managed to open it after bringing the bolts with the flashlight. Dude, why do we got a secret thing like that? Anywho... I'm ending this video right here. Uh, I think this is a good stopping point. Um, a lot happened. I'm sorry, guys. I was doing this video, I was nervous, but <laughs> some games can be surprising and end up being something they might not be. So I was like nervous the whole entire time that I thought it was gonna be a horror game. But <laughs> anywho, uh, it's pretty interesting. I don't know why that guy attacked us. I'm kind of mad that he did that. I don't know why he did it. So. Maybe we'll figure out why next time or whatever, and see you guys later. Bye.